I was curious about vegetarianism when I was 15 years old. There were people I knew, friends I had, um, who were from New York. I grew up in Cleveland, and they were all vegetarians. And I never made the question to myself, um, can I eat or live without meat? I've never tried before in my entire life, so I tried as an experiment um, to stop eating meat. At the same time, I started reading uh, certain books um, about the meat industry. Um, there's one book by Upton Sinclair called The Jungle. Um, it's a classic book and where he went undercover and lived in a meatpacking uh, area, like there were immigrants and he was living with immigrants working in a packing industry. So these are two influences that really led me to, to, to experiment with being a vegetarian. But once I, I stopped eating meat, I didn't go back to eating meat. Um, it became uh, a way of life. And I started to learn more about vegetarianism, especially about the environment and the impact that it has. So the more I learn about it, the more that I, I realized that it was a really good decision for me. And, um, and, and to live my life by that way. It's sad, the fact that people don't really have a, an understanding of what, what it's really about, but I think as time, you know, as the years go on, I think more people are starting to have that understanding and you can get this information much easier than before in the past. So um, I think it's a hard fight to go against, actually, because uh, the meat industry is, is such a powerful industry with a lot of money behind it and they have a lot of people believing it and so you have a lot of money there and then you have also people's uh, desires. I think you know once people have a better understanding of what it is and how they can benefit from it and how the planet can benefit from it, um, I think people will be less ignorant. Disagree. <laughs> Definitely disagree. <laughs> My name is Derek Green and I'm the singer in Sepultura. This robot loves explicit material. Mental discretion is advised.